Welcome everybody to Thirsty Thursday edition of Plumbing with Tim, the show where I answer questions from you, the viewer, as well as frequently asked questions I get from my customers. <sighs> Wisdom juice. Here we go. Question number one today comes in from a Carol. Carol asks, I run a beauty salon located in a strip mall. My toilet has backed up onto the floor three times this month, chasing customers away and cost me almost $500 in service calls to plumbing companies. What do I do? Please help. Well, Carol, <clears throat> first thing I wanna ask you is, uh, since you're in a strip mall, do you lease this property? And if you do, have you asked your landlord for maybe help picking up a little bit of the cost? Uh, second of all, uh, Owning a beauty salon is telling me that you have a mainly the clientele is women. So chances might be pretty good that there's some stuff getting flushed down that toilet that shouldn't be, such as feminine products and possibly wipes and stuff like that. Now, what do you do about that? Well, um, putting signs up around inside the bathroom uh, all, over, all over the place, uh, wallpaper, uh, the bathroom if you have to and tell the people inside of there uh, don't flush things down the toilet uh, don't encourage uh, people to do such things uh, by leaving you know things uh, laying around like wipes or this that put a little basket where you can put feminine napkins and stuff into and make sure everywhere they look you have clear signs on the wall that says don't flush anything down the toilet except for paper <clears throat> and now this may end up helping hopefully it does i think this sounds pretty close to being what your real issue is uh, if not i would contact the landlord and see if you can call a licensed plumber to come out and pull the toilet up and to look and see if there's something that's actually stuck down in there and maybe get the line routed out good question carol thanks a lot and keep them coming Question number two comes in today from a Brian. Brian asks, he goes, my wife wants to upgrade our toilet in the master bath. What kind, what brand of toilet do you recommend? Well, that's pretty simple. There's literally thousands of different options out there, okay? And the first thing most people usually do is run out to Home Depot or Lowe's and they find something that looks good and all that stuff and it's got all the, the, the paperwork to back it up as being the best thing on the market. Let me tell you something. Check out a video I put out recently about why you should buy from a plumbing supply company. Stay away from those big box stores. My personal choice when it comes to toilets is the Gerber Viper. Anything that Gerber makes for the most part. But Gerber is a great company when it comes to making toilets and the Viper is a very elegant toilet. I have one in my home. I've installed over 200 of, of them myself personally to customers. They all love these toilets uh, and they come ADA. So they're a little bit higher and they're elongated um, because none of us are getting younger around here and you don't want to feel like you're falling down when you're going to sit on the toilet. So that's my answer, the Gerber Viper. Thanks a lot, Brian, for that question. Until next time, keep it on. Okay, so this is our featured question of the day. Ah. Featured question today comes in from Chuck. Chuck asks, why does it take so long to get hot water to my kitchen sink? I'll tell you what, if I had a dollar every time I had that question asked me, I wouldn't have to be working. Here is the reason why it takes so long to get hot water to your kitchen sink, or for that matter, to any of the other fixtures. <clears throat> When they roughed in your home and they put the copper piping underneath your home, usually a lot of times, especially depending on the size of your home, um, your kitchen might be the last spot where the hot water reaches, okay? Remember, that hot water is usually got to come from the garage where the water heater is sitting and go through all these hundreds of feet of pipe to reach that fixture, so it can take time, <clears throat> excuse me. Now there are ways of uh, you know combating that uh, and it costs a little bit of money. First thing that I would suggest doing is uh, calling a licensed plumber and have them come out and put what's called a recirculation pump on your water heater. What does that do? That draws, it's a little pump that mounts, it's tied in with your water system to your water heater and it draws hot water out of your hot water heater and it circulates that hot water constantly around the clock throughout your entire home and throughout all your hot water pipes. That way you have hot water a lot faster. 
Second way that you can actually do it if it's a kitchen sink, uh, I've done it in the past. Uh, go out and you know, you're gonna wanna get a plumber to do this. They sell little two gallon hot water heaters, little cute guys that you can have installed underneath your kitchen sink and uh, have that tied in and have a little circulation system. That way, when you turn on your hot water, the first thing it does is it draws that water out of that little gallon, a two gallon hot water heater, and you're getting hot water right now because it's right there. By the time that hot water is gone, it's already caught up with the amount of time it takes to get that hot water from your regular water heater. And there's other options. Uh, you know, you can check out things online, um, but these are really the the, the most important ways uh, and to get around getting hot water a little bit quicker. Thank you very much for that question. That was a featured question of the day. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. <clears throat> Thanks for dropping by and spending a couple minutes with me. Listen, if you want a question answered, please leave them down below in the comments. Possibly you could get the featured question of the day. And next week on the show, I will answer them right here on Thirsty Thursday, Plumbing with Tim. Take care.